the creation aspect of Mahara. So in this first box here, I want to show you some of the things that we can create. So the profile information is auto-completing, but you can edit that information should you wish to do so, um, simply by coming into the profile uh, setting. Let me show you the journals, which is Mahara's way of talking about blogs. So the journal system allows you to create as many journals as you wish to. So you can create a journal on a particular topic um, and have several different journals should you wish to. To create a journal is straightforward. Click Create a Journal. Give your journal a name and a description. You can insert an image here if you want to. You can add tags should you want to that apply to this journal and then just cre click Create Journal. I'm going to come out of here, and I'm just going to show you one that I've created already. So in this one, which I've called a blog, because I'm more familiar with that term, you can see I've got a set of discussion posts that I've put on to my blog. Now, the beauty of creating a journal within your Mahara is it's then very easy to pull those posts or the whole journal into a portfolio page, should you wish to. External blogs can also be linked into pages, uh, but you would just do it in a different way. So coming back to the content area, and I'm coming back to the dashboard using the tab here. You can, as you can see here, upload external files and also create your own CV within the system. So if you wanted to set uh, to put together a CV that you want to be available electronically, this is a reasonable place in which to put it. So that's the content area, well worth exploring. Try a few things out, move your files in, and then have a look at the clip on organizing and showcasing your work to see how they will integrate with your pages.